Hello, this is Mark from I Am Organic Gardening, and today I'm going to show you my new invention. An all-in-one, easy, do-it-yourself worm bin and harvester. I want to make it as easy as possible to have your worm bin and also harvest it too, all in the same system. And what's nice about this is that you have an endless supply of free worm castings. An all-in-one complete worm system, which is your bin and harvester. So this is our final product. These worm castings are a year old. You can store them up to a year, and I've done it probably for five years now, and I've never seen uh, a problem with uh, storing them up to a year compared to just fresh worm castings. So to achieve this, and see how there's just worm casting here and very little organic matter. That's the reason why you can store them. Is because you want to take the worm castings only. You don't want a lot of organic matter in there. And the way you're going to achieve that is by using a two screen process. Here we have a quarter inch hardware cloth mesh screen. And that means it's a quarter inch each way in the whole opening. And that's going to be our first grading of our worm castings. Then we're going to come back. Then we're going to screen them one more time using a 1 8 inch opening. So how does this all work? Very easily. We have our material with our worms in it. Now this screen does not go all the way around. It's only in the area that's 8.5 by 11. We have on our lid, we have a hole drilled in our lid. We also have a hole on the bottom. Now, this whole system, this is your worm bin, slides into the other bucket. Now, when it slides in, this, will, this bucket will seal this opening so the worms can't get out. Now, you can see that the bucket doesn't go down all the way. So now if any excess moisture is in here, it will go down below and that will be a worm tea and you have plenty of ventilation just from that one hole on the bottom and the one hole on top. Here we have a piece of plastic we laid down that we're going to catch the worm castings. We have our stand that we made and I'll show you how to do that. And then we just slide our bucket out like so and then we're going to keep this bottom part down. Now when you fill up the bucket on the end part, you're only going to fill it up about three quarters of the way. You don't ever want to fill up the bucket all the way. Now, we're going to just take, just take the metal rod, slide it through the bottom, and then we're going to come out the top. And now, we have it going on our stand. Now I also like to point out, you have your worms still in the bucket. You don't have to remove the worms. You don't have to worry about migrating up or anything else too. So now everything's set and you just spin your bucket. Now you can keep the handle on if you wish or you can take it off. So after a couple times you can see the material that still stays in there and now you have your worm castings. And you just keep doing this at your convenience. You can do it a couple times. And then you're all set. So now you have your worm castings. If you're going to use them immediately, you do not have to remove all this other organic material. Because remember, you just did a quarter screen. You want to not store this organic matter. So what you're going to do is you want to separate it one more time. And that's what the 1 8 screen is for. Now we're going to take our worm castings here with the organic matter. We're going to screen it one more time. We put the screen lid on top of a bucket. Now we have our organic matter. We just removed that. And inside our bucket we have our worm castings with very little organic matter. So if you think this is a good idea and this can work for you, I'm making part two and it's going to show you all the steps, what to do and how to measure everything and what you need to make this. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to do so. If you haven't done so, please subscribe and I'll see you soon.